Alright, here we are. Good morning, Internet. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Devin from Broken Enduro, and we are almost in Death Valley. We're about 200 miles into our trip so far. We got Bo up here in front leading the way. Say hi, Bo. Andre from the club. You guys recognize this guy. Got the big girls out here today. So we're going to be out here all weekend doing some camping, doing some riding. And I got the, the big T7 rocking the motorport gear, like, like I said. So I'll talk more about that while we're out riding, I'm sure. And uh, P3 Carbon came through with the skid plate for the T7. So they have now released that and it's open to the general public. So that's pretty freaking awesome. So hope you guys are excited as I am and let's get going. place some trail I know we're doing Titus Canyon at some point today so there are six of us all together and they are all BMWs just gotta catch back up with my group here pay no attention to the speed on the speedometer so I guess we're heading over to Beatty and then we come back through Titus Canyon. So it's pretty freaking slick. I really like it out here. I'm excited to see some dirt and see how the uh, the Moto's Rousey tires work. So, it was wild coming out here and having all this extra weight on the, the back of the bike. I somehow managed to make it all the way out here and I still had nipples on my front tire. I ended up having to tighten up the, the preload on the rear quite a bit just to keep the front end from sloshing around back and forth. So keep that in mind when you load them up. Um, and I'm not you know, a huge guy, so if you're any heavier than me with a loaded bike, you probably gonna have to swap out that spring in the rear. So, so I've mentioned in the, the other T7 video that Motorport was going to give me some loaners for this, just to, to check out and see what I think and give some, some opinions on it. So they're like, yeah, come on down to San Marcos. And I was thinking that they were going to, you know, just give me something that they had on the shelf and take it with me and bring it out here on this trip. So Rob starts measuring me up and they ended up building me like a full-blown jacket and pants set to to take out here and demo and talk to you guys about so i thought that was freaking crazy so i really appreciate them doing that because like anytime i buy a jacket because my chest isn't huge and but i've got long arms so it's like i either get short cuffs or a big puffy chest and this thing fits perfectly i rode it out here on the, the highway coming in um, without the liner in and like the air just blasts right through it this morning I've got the, the liner in there's no air coming through the pants are freaking awesome so they gave me the uh, marathon air mesh jacket and then the ultra 2 pants so it has like a, a Kevlar woven fabric so the, the air mesh stuff is 10 times stronger than like competition race leathers and then the stretch panels are five times stronger than those same leathers so and it feels pretty rugged like it's, it's soft and flexible but like the texture of itself is like crocodile skin it's pretty wild pretty freaking cool it's so nice having a jacket and pants that like fit you exact i dig it so far Pretty freaking cool stuff. The colors when you get up close to these hills are is crazy. Like you look out in the distance, it's like that's a brown hill, but like there's rusts and greens and purples and reds. Works 
screw, Pete. Okay. I mean, corkscrew is an all right name. I would have gone with twisted ribbon. I saw this town on like the Discovery Channel, like the, the Life After Humans show. Got all these guys over here hanging out. And they all have their back to the naked lady. Naked Minecraft looking lady. Yeah, how long you had it? Just a few months? Yeah, just like about a month or so. I mean, yeah. Scratches on it today? It's gonna happen, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh, I love it. I love yeah, so I managed to ditch the backpack and the fanny pack for this ride. Uh, Motorport put a hydration pouch in the back of this jacket. It's big enough for my three liter water <coughs> and the, the liner when I'm not wearing it. And I got pockets so I can run my external battery in the uh, the chest pocket so they did the all the the pockets and reflectivity and like the layout and everything color all of it like to what i wanted so it's pretty freaking awesome i've already had several people stop me and ask me about this stuff So far for the amount of time that I've been wearing it, like absolutely worth it. To get something that's made in America, tailor fitted to you, like no sacrifice, si <coughs> sorry, sacrifice on fitment. Got a good thing going on. The red dirt. Get some some Andre cam. Ooh, look at those trial skills. Perfect form. We could do like a how to ride a big bike video right now. Yeah, I don't know if my Kickstand's gonna do its thing here. Oh, thank you, sir. That work? Yeah. In gear, no, no break oh, yeah. Awesome. Conk, conk, conk. <laughs> How'd you drop your bike the first time, Devin? Well, <laughs> funny story.
<laughs> that was awesome. Little rock kicker. Yeah, it was perfect, man. Perfect little kicker. It's crazy how easy it is to get these big bikes in the air. Holy cow. That's freaking cool. This is awesome. fell over deep <sighs> well at least the first tip over was in the softest stuff possible So to answer your question, yes, I can pick up the T7, even when the handlebars are lower than the tires. The hardest part I was having is getting traction like with my boots to stand up. This is awesome.
was sweet. Took that rock face line on the right. <laughs> Oh, how rad is this? It's like a rainbow road. Yellow and orange and red. So far, so good. We're just trying to keep an eye on Carl back there. Yep, looking good. That was an awesome little section. This is such a trip what these bikes can do. Stephanie's hung up on this. What's that? That was ugly. <laughs> I did the same thing last year. Go Carl. Yes. Nice. I did see them coming. Yeah, they're a little ways behind us. So if you guys are at a stopping point, I would let them bring it in. Bo said there's beers up there in that building. I know, he knows how to motivate you. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah. All right, guys, gonna go ahead and wrap that one. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you liked it. We're heading back in to camp now. Get some food. Figure out what's going on with Andre's bike. So, looks like there's some some stuff that's severely severely bent. So we gotta figure that out. If you guys are interested in checking out the motorport gear that they gave me to, to demo for this trip, uh, I'll put a link in the description. And there may be a discount code in there too if you're you're interested in buying something. So from what I could tell, it's absolutely worth the money. Um, small family company, everything's made in America. Freaking Kevlar in this. Very cool stuff. And it's all custom fitted. So, all right guys, I'll talk to you on the next one. Let it!